Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Unordinary Chapter 277. Let's get into it, shall we? First, I'm gonna make a little zoom zoom. There we go. Okay. Nighttime. Seraphina and John sleeping on couches. These two. They've been through a lot today. It's about time they finally got some rest. Yeah. Hey, Layla. Uh, can we talk for a sec? He want to get them digits again. Well, he already got them digits, but you know what I mean. You're really allowing this? Do you realize how much danger you're putting themselves in? Someone ordered a hit on them. Would you rather they fight back or wait around to get killed? Tch, shit. This sucks. They didn't ask for any of this. Darren. She grabs the hand. He kind of blushes. Things got out of hand really fast. Isn't too late for you to disassociate from us. I can remove. I remove. <laughs> I can remove you from our database, and it'll be like none of this ever happened, except they have you on the cameras. Um. That recovery machine. Will John and Seraphina be dependent on it forever? Only until we find a way to permanently restore their abilities. And how do you plan on doing that? I'm not sure yet, but I'll deal with it when the time comes. Which will be immediately. <clears throat> He's just kind of like, hmm. Okay, night time in the city. We have, oh god, this person's about to be executed, aren't they? Are they being kidnapped? I'm not really sure. Looks like a student? Hmm. <clears throat> not really sure. They have... I feel like we're supposed to know who this is, but I don't think we do. They're in a brown uniform. Where am I? These ropes won't budge, and I still can't activate my ability. It's because they are gone. And this dude is like, what's going on? Who are these people? Good evening, lady and gentlemen. I'm sure you're wondering why you were brought here. Orden. You three are amongst the strongest ability users in the area. But several days ago, you may have noticed your power suddenly stop working. Bastard! Were you the one who did this? Do not worry. I'm here to offer the cure. Under cer some circumstances, of course. Yeah, a cure to the curse you already put on them. <clears throat> yeah, right. Give me my ability back. Or I'll fucking kill you. I highly doubt that's going to happen. Oh, how rude of me. I should have made sure you two were comfortable before this dis before this discussion. 23, would you please untie them? Uh-oh. Wait, what kind of power does Orin have? I'm wondering. Okay, untied. What are you going to do now? Untie us? Is this guy a fucking moron? So, where was I? Oh, I would like to make a deal. Shut up! And he gets up and he's going to rush... Who the hell would uh, want to work with you? He goes to punch. Fuck off! And Orin's activating his powers. What is it? Neil. Oh shit. He has te uh, telepathy. Or suggestion? I'm not really sure. Some kind of psychic command. And he kneels before Zod. He stop this guy's ability I can't fucking move I despise obnoxious brats like you who constantly interrupt and don't listen well now I guess we're understanding why Orin was able to amass as much power as he has this is a very dangerous ability stand okay he can uh, order multiple people to do I guess one word commands that might be the limit of his abilities, but still, very powerful. My body's moving on its own. Okay, they're grabbing him. Alrighty. Hey, what the? Look over me. <clears throat> she is completely in the trance. Huh? And so is he, and he's about to... Oh, shit. I'm gonna choke a bitch. It, I guess they're, uh... He really does despise obnoxious brats if he's just having them strangle him. 
Oh god, that face on Orin. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Choke. Oh, god, oh, god. Oh, snap. Oh shit, they broke the neck. Okay, fuck the strangulation. We just broke that bitch's neck. Mm hmm. Oh, and they've been snapped out of it, and now they're seeing the ramifications of that. That looks horrific. Like, I feel like human hands shouldn't have been able to do that, but okay. Is he dead? D did I just kill? Now that I have your attention. Oh, let's discuss our terms. Okay. It's the next day. This morning, a missing person was reported. So the news, a young man, 20 years old and a second year at Wellston University. Physical description, purple hair, green eye, oh, the dead one. <laughs> uh, a high tier. If you see any signs of him, please alert the authorities. Remember to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Ah, and Arlo was in the taxi. Um... Damn, these ember freaks are going after people left and right. Yesterday, my daughter was afraid to go outside. Amber couldn't have been the ones behind this. Their goal is to discourage vigil vigilanteism, not to strike down random high tiers. Hope the authorities find the culprit soon. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Hmm, I hope so, too. Okay, Bureau of Authority, Wilson. Alrighty, so, oh, he's going to, I guess, do the internship thing or whatever that his aunt brought up before? So, he's getting ready for the interview, I'm guessing. Also, does it look like he has a hair bun right on the side of his head? <laughs> Alrighty, he, uh, he cleans up pretty good. Okay, you're all set, so he's got a guest pass. Please follow the hall and take the stairs to the left. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, there's the woman we've seen numerous times before. I forget her name. Arlo. Oh, Cassandra, that's it. Didn't expect to see you here. You're looking pretty sharp. What brings you to the Bureau? Oh, I have an interview today. I've been applying to internship positions here. Hmm. Looking to get a head start on my career. Damn, he's like almost a head taller than her. Oh. Well, I'm rooting for you. Good luck in there. Uh, I don't need luck. Damn, cocky much. Oh, then I guess I'll see you around. She walks away. Mr. Arlo, a lady with green hair. Dimitri is ready for you. Please come with me. Dimitri? Is he from the Russia? Um, yes, of course. <clears throat> End of the chapter. Alrighty. Quick thoughts. Basically, yeah, it's about what we imagine, you know, um, with the whole situation. Like, Darren, you... I'm pretty sure he was going to stay with them because, like, with his, uh, I guess, mastery of chemistry for the most part, he wants those kids to be able to be cured. And it's with that mastery that he might be able to make the effects of whatever machine and, you know, um, become permanent. So he, you know, has like a moral obligation here. To make these children whole again and to hopefully make it to where others that might be afflicted with this same cautionary tale um, to also be cured. <clears throat> um, Oren, big fucking scary with his ability. He's basically kneel before Zod and you fucking hit those knees. So it's like, and he can just seemingly it's just one word command so i'm thinking he has like he has to be really clever with what he commands so it's some form of telepathy mind control because they kind of like blank out in their face so it's more so mind control than normal telepathy <clears throat> well 
Eh, it's a little bow frilly, but you know what I mean. So, yeah. Hmm. And he seems to be able to direct multiple people at one time, but seemingly with the same command. So, we'll have to see what his true limits here are. If he can do words and phrases that are just beyond words and just go with, like, phrases and stuff, oh, his, his power would and danger level would go through the roof. But also, this would very much explain why he was able to, uh, you know, gain as much power. Because, like, you can imagine him, like, forcing people to sign away, like, rights and resources and just doing what he wants, possibly without really knowing what they've done. Like, can he tell you to, like, forget you know, and just forget, like, the last action you did? I The, the possibilities are lim limitless here, potentially. Once we find out, can he do more than, like, one word at a time? So, yeah, he is he the big bay. Um, and as for Arlo, he's going for that internship that his aunt probably helped basically set up. And the fact that he's really confident, I guess it's assured that he will become an intern and possibly, you know, he'll be graduating in the next year. So, yeah, makes sense that he'll probably end up just getting a job there in, in general. But, all right. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I've discussed about everything I need to. So, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, which includes Record of Ragnarok and Kaiju Number 8. Um, I'm going to try and get them out as quick as possible. If not, they'll some of them may come out tomorrow. <clears throat> but anyway, um, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. Should be happening in the next few days or whatever. I'm not really sure. Um, or next week sometime. <laughs> I may not be a part of it this time because work has extended my hours. Not liking that. But anyway. Um, so, anyway. As always, later days. Until next time, Keishlings. Hmm. <laughs> Kneel before Zod. <laughs>